Well, it's packed with insightful articles about life in the D, but some know the Metro Times for something else. The racy ads in the back of the publication. Uh, the sexy ads, a reason uh, to ban the Metro Times from newsstands, local communities. Welcome back to Let It Rip. I don't know if you've seen the latest copy of the Metro Times, but inside you'll find articles on art, music, movies, concert, but you will also find ads for dating, hookups, and yes, even sex. Andrew Levine successfully led the campaign to have the Metro Times put the times behind the counter, making sure that local libraries put the newspaper away from children. She complains that the ads are raunchy, wrong, and dangerous for kids. But next to her is a woman who agrees that many of the ads are indeed meant only for adults, but she sees the newspaper as a symbol of free speech and of a free press. Valerie Vanderpan is the editor-in-chief of the Metro Times, and of course you all know Charlie, so uh, you know, for some reason, he always reads the back of the newspaper first. I don't know why. But Andrea, let's begin with you. What is it about the Metro Times that makes you so upset? Okay, I think that the ads in the back are sexist. It's not that they're sex ads, they're sexist ads. And, uh, you, know, we, we don't, you know, we don't sell black people in the back of newspaper, mainstream newspapers anymore. We, we used to sell black people in mainstream newspapers for slavery and for uh, minstrel show entertainment up until the early 1900s. But we don't do that anymore for ethical and legal reasons. And so as women, we don't want to be sold as uh, in the back of papers either uh, for ethical and legal reasons as well. Valerie, how do you see it? Is there something unethical, wrong, raunchy, dirty about what's in the back of the Metro Times? I don't think so. Why not? <clears throat> well, for one thing, um, we certainly are not selling humans the way they were sold under slavery. Those ads are placed by reputable licensed businesses that operate in accordance with Michigan state law. Uh, and uh, it's as simple as that. Bottom line, you, uh, but now Andrea has successfully um, launched a campaign to have the main libraries in the Gross Points, Woods, Farms and Park, put the Metro Times behind the counter in libraries. But right. you want to go further than that. You want to see the Metro Times taken off newsstands that are available and accessible for children. Right, right. Uh, because, you know, those outboxes are easy, to, they're easy to open, they're at kid level. Uh, they're, they're just littering the whole community uh, in, uh, gross, in, in the gross points. And uh, just like, let's say, um, if there was a, a tabloid, and some alternative tabloid that sold black people on the back of it and it was distributed through a black community, you know, black people would not, they wouldn't tolerate that in their neighborhood. Those outboxes would be gone the next day. But, but if, if that were the case, black people would be up in arms. I don't see anybody up in arms besides you. You are not among those workers in the back of the magazines I, demanding a change. We're not talking about selling black people to white people. This is not a question of racism. It's, this, the, same, it's the same striking parallel between sexism and racism. There's the same parallel. There's, um, say, there's, a, there's the same. It's, it's, it, it's the same thing. It's one group versus another group. Char minorities. Charlie, does she have a case? No, I don't think she does. No, and I, 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 I've read the Metro Times. I've looked at all the. It's an ad for a legitimate business. There's, they're not selling something that's illegal. There's nothing in there that I've seen anyway that is illegal. If you don't want, if you don't like the magazine, don't read it. That's simple as that. It's and to ban. Listen, if you want to ban it, cities have a right to ban whatever they want to ban. I would doubt that the public library in Gross Points sell Playboy and Penthouse. I would. I don't. I haven't been there. Haven't looked, but they probably don't. If they want to ban the Metro Times, that's fine. You but know, I, I don't think there's anything objectionable to it you don't for really adults. Know. You don't know if those are, that's legal or not. And if they are getting licenses, I don't know. I don't know what the screening process is, I'll be honest with you. But I don't, you know, I know somebody, a neighbor of mine, who was, uh, who was murdered by a, a Murphy game held by a prostitute and a pimp who was sold in a tab, in, in, a, in, a, in a, it was either Craig, it was Craigslist or Backpage, one of those. But that's Craigslist, to, that's not the Metro it's, Times. It's similar to, it's a selling of people, it's, it's, it's the advertising. There's people being, you know, being sold in tabloids, whether it's the uh, Metro Times or Craigslist or Backpage, it's all the same kind of advertising. Well, and it's not le it's not legal to sell human beings. If it, uh, I don't know if they're selling human but beings. But they're not selling human beings, Valerie. No. I don't see any ads for people in your magazine. No, we are we are no. not. 
selling. That's what I see when I look in there. Beings. Well, oh, that's what I see. No, I see so human beings. There's hookups. There's, there's hookups but, um, between it's, people. It's but that's not it. That's not illegal. Valerie, Valerie, what is being sold by by the yeah, people? Yeah, Those are ads for gentlemen's clubs. Really, gentlemen's clubs. That's euphemism. Yeah. That's euphemism for female exploitation club. Okay, the gentlemen's clubs are licensed by the state of Michigan and are operating legally. Um, some of them are for adult chat lines that you call people Legalized with. Legalized sex trafficking, okay. Um, and again, they are legitimate licensed businesses. And we're not just talking about women, men do this too. And it, when you talk about human trafficking, human trafficking is something that's violent and it is coerced, and there is no choice in the matter. Um, right. This is a consensual thing that's taking place, whether they be the models that are, are at, are, you know, being photographed for the ads, or it's all consensual. No one is being coerced. No one is being violently forced to do something against their will. These are licensed businesses. But are you, is it your, so if I can understand, are you under, uh, my, uh, you saying that what's in the Metro Times is illegal, there's something wrong, or just you know, morally wrong? You know, I don't believe that it's all, it's all consensual. I really don't, because I have been, as a, as a feminist activist, I have been, uh, I've been studying sex tra prostitution and sex trafficking f for years now, and so many people, so many women uh, who have been used in prostitution that I have talked with have been sold in places like Craigslist, Backpage, tabloids, uh, local tabloids, and, and they say that is the way that they so-called consent to being uh, sold But by the same token, if you don't read the Metro Times, then you can go to Craigslist and Backpage. There are so know, many so other many sources. But you know, so pick up that Metro so why, Times why and they look in the back the, and they're calling up T.S. Brownie, transsexual Brownie, the boys, you know, uh, young girls, if they, they see that, if they think this is legitimate work, uh, I mean, do you want your kids uh, looking through there and Performing golden showers on each other. I mean, give me. Do you really think a child is going to look at the uh, an ad they and do. all of a sudden want to they do. perform golden showers? What Gonzo? is a golden shower? They're looking at Gonzo porn on the internet. Our, our society is so pornified now. These kids are exposed to all kinds of crap. You know, kids need to be the authors of their own sexuality. They don't need T.S. Brownie telling them, "Hey, baby, come on," and you know. But about marijuana too. There's a lot of marijuana ads. Are those illegal? Are those, would you ban those too? And you no, promote yeah. the use and of yes. marijuana, do you not? Uh, for medicinal purposes, and also in and there are ads for of, that in the Metro Times too. Instead of alcohol, people would like to use marijuana. They should be. Able and to there are ads for that in the Metro Times as well. Right. What well, about the articles? Different. Anybody read that's the articles? Different. They're, it's not women being. It's not sexist, objectifying. Ads, be, you know, uh, selling human beings. It's different. It's a totally different issue. Bottom line, free speech. It's not free speech. It's a, it's conduct. It's not free speech. What do you say? <laughs> Quickly. I, I say it's not human trafficking. I say it's, they're not being sold. Women, humans are not being sold in the back of our book. These are ads placed by legitimate businesses. Okay. And human trafficking, selling humans is against the law. Take it to the state police. Take it, you know, if you have evidence of that, please take I'd it to the state I'd say take police. it to your city council and ask your local, uh, um, your local city council to, uh, oh. um, to, um, Take them out, the, get them out. The of debate state. is not over. All right, ladies, thank you so much for your time. You. All right, after 18 years at Fox 2 Morning Show, anchor Alan Lee is embarking on a new chapter in his life tonight. Charlie takes the show on the road with farewell messages from you, our Fox 2 viewers, from the man we admire, Alan Lee. We'll let it be returns.